bonding dentist together to unlock more freedom, free time, and fewer hygiene checks for practice owners is what we do at Dentist Child Connect, and we are so proud to do it. If you need an awesome associate dentist, text HIRE to 215-798-9897 or visit us at DentistJobConnect.com. If you're looking for an amazing associate position and you like scrolling on your phone, just like me, text JOB to 215-798-9897 to check out all our open positions. So I have an enthusiastic and awesome practice owner with me today looking for an associate dentist. Would you introduce yourself to our audience and share what you do in your daily dental life to make patient dreams come true? My name is Zach Nemechek. I'm in Manhattan, Kansas. We work four days a week, we do general family dentistry. So we see all kids, see all adults, um, take care of all the problems, a lot of emergencies that we have walk in, have a great work-life balance here. Just need a little bit of help. Awesome. I like that. Now, when did you graduate from dental school? I graduated in 2019 uh, out of Kansas City, and I worked in Kansas City for three years and then going on two years now of owning my own practice. Awesome. And, you know, back in dental school, we never knew what it'd be like in the real world because sometimes we'd have like a 17-visit denture, right? One, one time we would just take the bite room out and look at it. We put it back in the box. We said, that's enough for today. Yep. So we never knew that like one day being too busy and too many patients would cause a problem. Kind of just share to educate our audience. You know, you're still a newest dentist, associate to owner. How can having too many patients being booked out too far, what kind of stress does that place on you and your team? Yeah, so it's a good problem to have. It's a problem I never thought I would have, number one. <laughs> but what it does is, now we're booking people out. And then if somebody wants a vacation, the people that are already booked, you know, for yeah. a month or two, now we're pushing them that further out. Um, we do have a doctor that wants to retire. And I told him, well, you can't retire until I find somebody to take your place. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise I have to lay four people off because I, I wow. don't, I can't physically do see my patients as well as his patients. And I, I really appreciate you sharing that. Cause also as someone who's been a dentist too, the also part to that is, you know, we strive so hard to do what? Oh, make patients do things that they don't want to do or pay for, right? They don't want to see us. It's the opposite of Hamilton, right? We're running a Broadway play that patients do not want to pay for or see. So if you go to a hygiene exam and you're able to get a patient to say, okay, I'm going to get this crown. And then they go up to the front desk. They say, cool, that's going to be 14 weeks from now. Yeah, It's a, it's a disconnect, right? It's a disconnect between the, the urgency of the problem and when it could be taken care of. So I, I really appreciate you sharing because I just think Dental students, new dentists, practice owners can know that too busy is a challenge. So now, even though you've touched on it, tell us your why. You know, you can tell us a little about your associate team and why you're looking to hire an associate dentist. So the reason I want to is we've we had to grow it in order for me to continue making payments. We had two doctors that I bought it from. One stuck around and the other one retired after a year and a half. But the contract was you had you only get new patients. So I was on the hunt to get new patients. We grew our hygiene staff by 50%. Well, then she walks out the door and I absorb all of her patients. Well, now we went from seeing a hundred new patients yeah. to we're uh, trying to get staying at 40 new patients a month. So we need somebody, you know, new patients are the lifeblood of your practice. But if you can't continue to see them, you get a little bit stagnant and we're still continuing to try to grow. Really, we, we need two associates. We need somebody to just come in and take over the guy that's retiring. And then I need somebody to continue seeing new patients because yeah. personally, I'm filled to the brim where I can't see anymore. And we have the space. We just don't have the human capital to take care of all these patients. And my guess here is dealing with dentists and being a dentist. I'm in a little bit of a different area in New Jersey. who's kind of super competitive for dentists. So I've never had the experience you you quite had, like having too many patients and putting pressure on you. Can it make dentistry not be so fun? Can it be like, oh, my gosh, I can't fit this person in or your team comes in and says this person has a problem. Tell us a little more about that. You know that because that my biggest pet peeve personally is wasting my time. Yeah. Okay, eat that. And when patients I hate wasting patients time, too. And yeah. like you said, OK, well. You need a crown. Okay, well, okay, you finally convinced me. Let's get it done. Okay, we'll come back in a month and a half. And they're like, it's hard enough to get them on board. Yes, to yeah, yeah. Get off for six weeks. That's when they start canceling and things like that. But, you know, being in Kansas City, somebody told me you never have to go looking for dentistry. There's enough dentistry yeah. in Kansas City. I mean, you kind of, you had to be well-versed. You know, we dabbled in Invisalign, started taking wisdom teeth out, started doing root canal, started 
doing those things because you had to make a living. I mean, here in Manhattan, you just, I mean, if you have a pulse, I mean, you could make, if you, all you want to do is fillings, you could make a living off. Fillings. All you want to do is crowns. You could do that. Now, hopefully I get somebody that does want to do extractions and root canals, because if you think I'm busy in a town where all the dentists, yeah. are, imagine what the couple specialists look right. like. Wisdom teeth. Uh, yeah. Well, call me next Christmas break or, you know, I got a tooth pain. Well, the endodontist is booked out further than I am. You know, you're describing and really helping educate our audience because I just think dental students have no idea that this exists. They're in the bubble of dental school. And then sometimes some of our awesome older colleagues that have been doing it for a long time are just, you know, in their own dental cave, I call it. And I just appreciate you kind of educating our audience as to some of the challenges and rewards of being in an area where there might not be enough dental. Now, let's get into the details. You know, dentists, we love the details. We want a bite wing of the bite wing. We would scan the scanner if it was possible. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about these two details. I'm applying for your job. Give me an idea of how I'll be compensated. And you, I know you just said it, but what procedures would you expect me to do? Give me a need to do and nice to do. So tell me about compensation and procedures. So I need you to do hygiene checks. That's your intro, less hygiene checks. That's what I need you to do, <laughs> yeah. bare minimum. So that, and then I expect you to do the quote, bread and butter, you know, fillings and crowns. That's expected to be done. Now, if you do want to take the next step and do extractions or wisdom teeth, root canals, they are very profitable, assuming you can do it in a timely manner. And those are things that I was taught. Uh, Bill Keith was a great mentor of mine. He taught me how to do those. And now I know that I can mentor somebody. I know you're not comfortable doing, you know, molar root canals right out of school. Nobody is, but I can mentor you that. And it's always nice to know, okay, well, if I can't do it, I can just run to the next door, you know, 20 feet away. Yes. And say, hey, doc. I actually want to do a whole thing of like uh, the proximity to your mentor. Is it in the next operatory? Is it through your phone? Is it through someone who, you know, works at a home office? And I think that what's really important to point out is you are a mentor in the building. You know, you're in the building with them. And I, as someone who's been a new dentist, even after a multiple year GPR, the ability for me to go walk into a bigger, stronger dentist operatory and just say, hey, I want to ask you if this thing's going normal is just it's a game changer for your confidence. So I really think that's great. That, that's huge. You know, the guy I have now, he's 69 and he is wonderful. So if I have a staff issue or something, yeah. I can go to him with that. He does bread and butter dentistry. So if I have a heart extraction, I'm not walking to him. But we do a lot of full mouth rehabs all on fours, restore those. My mentors there have been back in Kansas City. I still talk to Bill on a regular basis. Yeah. Cosmetic That's case. I had another great mentor in Kansas City. <clears throat> it's just the opportunity to say to people like, hey, am I seeing this the way you're seeing it? It could be a patient interaction. It could be a treatment plan. Here's now. I want to share this, Zach. Um, when you become a dentist, here's what happens. No one thinks you're a real person ever again, okay? I think our patients think like our teachers. We sleep in our operatories and pop up at 8 a.m. ready to do their thing. We are real people, okay? So talk to me about real people. Nothing with dentistry. I come to this area. I think I can be compensated well. I can enjoy working with you. But when the office closes or it's the weekend, what are some fun things? Treatment plan my fun. Tell me what you would do if you were me. Yeah. So Manhattan's a great place for a family. I'm going to, that's why we moved back from, you know, out of Kansas city into a smaller community. There's 50,000 people. And to me, I grew up in a town of 900 graduated with 22 kids. This is a city to me, but the longer I'm here, it's just a big, big town. I go to the grocery store. You see people all the time. Last night we had a wonderful fundraiser for big brothers, big sisters. And you're like, Oh, I wonder who I'm going to meet new here. It's like, Nope, I recognize that person. I know that. <laughs> yeah. It's the same people kind of in the same circles. Um, outside of Manhattan, <clears throat> I'm a big outdoorsman. I love hunting and fishing. Uh, we got two massive lakes within 30 minutes of us. Um, as for hunting, it's one of the best deer hunting. Kansas is known for whitetail, big whitetail. And we're right in the Flint Hills, which is the holy grail of whitetail hunting, um, in my opinion, anyways. Um, outside of that, we have uh, the university. K-State's an agri agricultural school, and oh. we have Kansas Prairie, so there's a lot of hiking. It's a, oh man, I think it's 17,000 acres. That's just a preserve that you can go out and hike on, and they do research studies on. Um, and then with the school, we have a great um, arts department with McCain Auditorium. We have a lot of really good musicals and shows and plays that come in. Um, it's great. You get used to that three-day weekend. Um, so Thursday night, there's 
there's always an event um friday you know we have friday afternoon cocktails at the country club nice and then saturday um the best seven saturdays are when k-state football is in town i, yeah, I, I say that it, so it sounds it, like you there's plenty of things to do outside the operatory if people could give it a chance so you could basically help anyone looking to apply for this job not only understand what they're going to do as a dentist with you but going to understand what they could do as a real person you know the place you can help them, introduce them to people, tell them what to do. Because, you know, as if I can be on my whatever the soapbox is for a second, there's so many great opportunities for associate dentists to survive, thrive, and not cry outside of some traditional areas. And you represent that, Dr. Zach, in the best way. So I appreciate you sharing with us. People can text Kansas to 215-798-9897 to apply or visit us at dental, dentistjobconnect.com. Thanks so much, Zach. Yeah. I didn't say how much the salary. Do you want me to just do a bit? Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. So what I tell people, if you have a pulse here, you'll make $200,000 just walking. Oh. Up. Um, if you want, um, you know, my collections were over 1.3. We do 33%. Um, so you, I know we're changing your life, moving to a smaller community, but it wouldn't be I wouldn't bat an eye thinking you can make over $400,000. I, I love you sharing that because I also ed educate on the finances part. Because if someone works 180 days a year and they collect five to $6,000 a day, which is, sounds like not an unreasonable thing to do between hygiene and fillings and crowns, mm -hmm. it is normal to then be compensated between three hundred and fifty dollars to $400,000 without doing all on X's, right? Without yep. doing full mouth rehab. So I think that's important. And I think it's great that you offer a substantial guarantee with the opportunity to make more. So I appreciate you sharing that. Absolutely. And we also, um, I want my dentists to continue to be better. So we do paid CE and it's awesome. not, you know, a $500 course. We're looking at 10, 20, $25,000 implant courses or wisdom teeth courses that that is all paid for by us that then you pay back over a certain amount of time with those procedures. I love when you invest in associates like that. We did that for our associates. It's been done for me. It's a game changer for them in not only their clinical skills, but their communication skills and just their confidence as a practitioner. So love what you shared with us, Dr. Zach. We had to meet in person soon and have yeah. a great rest of the day. Yeah. Tell me about Nacho. Where did Nacho come from? Yeah, well, I was uh, Mex I worked at a Mexican restaurant named Casa Lapita when I was 19 years old. I loved uh, the corporate environment. I learned about rules. You get as many free nacho chips as you wanted. So I am obsessed with eating real nachos. And then like most good ideas, they come from uh, your wife. So she helped me come up with the name yeah. in 2017. Never thought it would come uh, this far, but I'm proud of uh, the whole team and what we've done. And I also just think, I don't know, you know, Dennis, they can be a little bit overly serious. So we <laughs> could like use a little more fun. So I think Nacho brings a little more fun to our community. I love it, man. That's awesome. I can't thank you enough for what you do, Paul. This is a huge outlet because, I mean, we're associates don't know what they don't know. Well, as a practice, sure. I was struggling to... I, I didn't know where to go to find an associate. So thank you, Paul, for what you do. I, I really appreciate that. I have a great team and thanks so much. Stick around for a minute, but everyone else, apply to this position. Connect with Dr. Zach. Text Kansas to 215-798-9897. Thanks, Zach. Thank you very much.